I was one week into my freshman year of college at UW-Madison when I witnessed my friend's fake ID get taken away. The funny thing was, she had the option to enter the club as 18, but she chose not to. She chose to ignore the risks of using a fake ID given the legal consequences. The nightlife at UW-Madison is highly concentrated around bars, and many underage students are faced with the personal conflict of trying to get in. There are very few bars that are 18 and over, encouraging underage students who make up roughly half of the undergraduate population to participate illegally in the drinking culture of UW-Madison. Many students resort to using fake IDs and fraudulent IDs repeatedly until they get caught. But who catches them? Is it the bartenders, the bouncers, the liquor store employees, or is it the local police? Despite the fact that it is a moral and legal issue, owning a fake ID seems to be an ever-growing problem. I chose to investigate the multiple perspectives on the issue of fake IDs and all the risks associated with fake ID use.